So we're hearing that the Bucks are shopping back Huntington and Cameron Payne for a trade package. Jake, Jake Fisher of Yahoo Sports is reporting with their early second. The Bucks are considering different combinations of vet Pat Connington and Cameron Payne. From my understanding, that is going to be it's about a combined twelve and a half million dollars of salary between Cameron Payne and Pat Connington that you can trade for. And we're hearing that the Matisse Thibel and PJ Tucker are two guys that they could target. Sources say they want to help fortify Milwaukee's defensive rotation. Cameron Payne fell out of Adrian Griffin's rotation, and Milwaukee wants to make changes on the bench that would feasibly have to include him, thus putting him in trade candidacy position. Yet if Payne's circumstances don't improve, it would appear the veteran ball handler would be amendable to a new situation, Sorge says, where you could reclaim another chance at helping a bench unit on a championship contending squad. So I, I do want to hear you guys' thoughts. Who do you think they could go after besides Cameron Payne? I mean, not Cameron Payne, besides Matisse and PJ Tucker at $12 million. You don't really have that many guys. I mean, you could get somebody off the nets like Royce O'Neal or Dorian Finney Smith, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts on that one. With Matisse Dybul and PJ Tucker are allegedly being targeted by the Bucks, $12.5 million is something that would allow them to take on PJ Tucker. And I believe they could even ask for like a mere copy in that deal if they wanted, and the deal could go through. While Matisse Thibel makes similar money, while makes similar money, and I think when you look at this, we're hearing that PJ Tucker remains a strong candidate with the Wizards somehow being a landing spot potentially, as the Wizards are offering a buyout opportunity for Tucker, and the Suns or Bucks are two teams that are considered possible homes if he were to become a free agent and the the bucks and the heat are two eastern conference title contenders that you know still maintain a healthy level of admiration league sources say for the clippers out of favor pj tucker and so it seems like milwaukee and miami are going to be the two guys who are gunning after him as he's earning 11 so they can get him in a buyout the rule is for 12 while Matisse Thibault with PJ Tucker you're gonna get a strong rebounder a multi-positional defender who's just gonna he'll provide a lot of zero point nights but he can hit the three-point shot while Matisse Thibault at this point in his career he is a 3 and D wing who it's hard to explain what he provides you at times as he's a guy who can guard everybody he's an all defensive guy his offensive game is still a work in progress like he's hitting threes at a decent clip now like he's at least respectable but besides that the ball has no reason to be in his hands offensively and i mean he's one of the better perimeter defenders in the league and this year he's playing 23 minutes a night scoring five and a half points 36 percent from three last two years he's been above 36 percent and on low volume but let me hear your guys thoughts